Today I'm going to show you how to make a picture frame in Tinkercad. To start, we're going to rename this project a frame. And now I'm just adjusting the size of the cube to make it the size that I'd like. I think I'm going to make it a bit skinnier. Okay, now it looks good. Now we're going to need to make a hole. So we're going to duplicate the frame, make it a bit smaller, and align it in the middle of the frame. And we need to do this so the picture in the frame will be visible. Otherwise, if you want to add a picture to the frame, the picture will have to stick out of the frame. And that isn't too realistic. So. Now we can recolor the frame. And I duplicated that hole to make the paper the proper size. Now we're going to have to make that skinnier again, line it up with the frame. And it's still too wide. So now I'm going to have to make that skinnier. And now it fits. So I could leave the frame like this. But I do want it to have a transparent square in front of it, kind of like a piece of glass. I won't have any shine to it, but it'll still be more realistic. So now I'm going to duplicate the frame. See how that looks as a piece of glass in size. So that looks too big. So now I'm going to duplicate the piece of paper, make it transparent, and line it up with the paper in the frame. So that looked good, and now I can continue making the rest. So I'm going to make a stand now. Of course, you don't need that in Tinkercad, but it'll look better. So we're going to angle the stand a bit. And we're going to angle the frame itself a bit. So it looks like it's standing up on the stand. And now we're going to line the stand. And change the color so that it isn't red. I'm going to change the color so that it matches the frame. And it's looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks with the stand a bit rounded. So that didn't look too good. So I'm going to change that back. And now I'm going to add an image. So I grabbed an SVG file, a quote from Google. Now I'm going to import that. And it didn't import one of the letters. Luckily, I'm just missing a T in the but not, so I can add that. Tinkercad has a simple font.
Okay, I'm gonna rescale it. Try to eyeball, line it up, make it the right height. I think the T can be closer. Okay, now it looks good. So now I'm gonna group it all together. And definitely rescale it. Okay, so since my frame is angled, I'm going to put a work plane on the paper so I can just copy paste the quote onto it without having to figure out the angle of the paper and change the angle of the quote. So it's much easier to just put the work plane onto the paper and paste the quote on there. Now it just needs to be rescaled. And centered. Oh, and the color needs to be changed. So I'm going to move the piece of glass out of the way so I can select it. And I think I'm going to change the color to like a pinkish red color. Okay, now we're going to make the glass visible again. Move the work plane back. And it looks good. And now I'm going to add this to my bookshelf. So comment down below where you would use this picture frame